Hey all, we're going to talk today about uh, triangles some more, and we're going to talk about some special relationships that exist between a triangle's angles inside and out. So instead of waiting till class, I'd like you to add this to your flipbook now, and then save you a little bit of time. Um, the stuff on the left will go on the outside, the stuff on the right is what you put on the inside. So we're going to talk about if we take all the inside angles, the interior angles of a triangle, what they should add up to be. Uh, we had a formula when we talked about polygons that would tell us the sum of the interior angles of any polygon, but it's nice to remember uh, just off the top of your head that the interior angles of a triangle always add up to 180. So angle U, angle V, and angle W are always going to add up to 180 because this is a triangle. And I have a, a geometer sketch pad here. I can show you that that's true. I've used the program to measure all the angles here. And so no matter what I do, moving the angles, you can see that their sizes change. But you can see down here where I added the angles together using the program, this 180 always stays the same. So all three of those angles, no matter how big or small each of them are, when I add them all together, they're going to add to 180. That's never going to change. So we can use that knowledge uh, to find a missing angle inside of a triangle. Um, obviously, we're going to use a little algebra with this. So I have triangle ABC here. C, angle C is 69 degrees. Angle B is 55. And I want to find angle A. So I could just set up an e equation here that says angle A plus the other two is equal to 180. And I can do a little bit of algebra and solve to find that this third angle is 56 degrees. So whenever I have a triangle and I know two of the angles, I can always find the third because all three of them should add to 180. So I can write the equation to find angle C in this one. Do some algebra and I can figure out that this angle is 32 degrees. So I can always figure, figure out the missing angle when I have two already in a triangle and a lot of times that's helpful um, even in other areas of geometry. So go ahead and pause now and find angle A. So again, I can just add angle A to the two that I know, 63 and 61. They should add up to 180. Finish by solving and get that this missing angle is 56 degrees. So I want you to add this to the flipbook. Um, the exterior angle theorem. Theorem is a word we haven't seen before. Uh, a theorem is something that somebody has proven to be true. So somebody along the lines discovered that if I look at two of the interior angles and I add these two angles U and W together, that measure in degrees is always going to be equal to the exterior angle at the third vertex. So here if I added U and W, that'll be equal to this exterior angle at vertex V of the triangle. So I have that in words here. These two interior angles we call remote interior angles. We call them remote interior angles because they're the ones that are furthest away from the exterior angle we're using. Um, sort of like a remote control is something you can use far away from the television. So add this to your flipbook and I have another way to show you this. Um, if you look over here, I'm, I've measured this exterior angle just like I showed you in the piece where you're putting on your flipbook. And then I added U and W and you can see that they're the same. And even if I move V, you can see that the exterior angle here is always the same as the two remote interior angles 
added together. So even though all three angles change up here, you can see that this sum is always equal to the exterior angle. The same thing exists if I add u and v and compare them to the exterior angle over here. It's always going to stay the same. So that's often helpful when we're trying to find angle measures. So here I have a triangle and I've, I've extended the sides to show you all three exterior angles and I want to find the exterior angle at V. So I want to find this angle right here and I can do that simply by adding the two remote interior angles, the ones that are not next to V. So I find that this exterior angle is 98 degrees. In this one, I want to find the exterior angle at U. I want to know how big this angle is. So I can take these two remote interior angles, the two interior angles that are not next to the one I'm looking for. If I add them together, I will find this exterior angle is 139 degrees. So pause the video here, and I want you to find the exterior angle. Uh, I should have wrote at W. I apologize for that. This guy right here, find the measure of that angle. So all we need to do is add those two remote interior angle measures together, 65 plus 42, and we get this exterior angle, ZWV, to be 107 degrees. So I have two U-do's for you to do, one about, about each uh, angle sum. Make sure you submit your answers online. It's been a while since we've had to do this. Make sure you give me your U-do answers online and we can talk about this in class.